Welcome to Burning Ice Tech guys. Today I'm going to be showing you the disappearing trick on a Moogle where you basically just disappear out of the frame and then reappear. It looks like a magic trick. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen some of these videos on YouTube where people are on a Moogle and they just randomly disappear out of the webcam and then just reappear. It kind of looks like a magic trick. Now there's many ways to go and do this. One of the quickest and the easiest ways to go and do this is to go and use a program called OBS. You'll find the link in the description down below. I will be making other videos on this topic as well to show you how to go and do this on other programs. So go and download the program. So this is what you guys are going to have to go and do. Go to the website in the description. Website looks like this. Once you get to the website, just choose your operating system, Windows, Mac or Linux. I'm currently on a Windows machine, so I'm just going to go to Windows. Once you get to Windows, you can see at the bottom left, it's downloading OBS. I'm not going to go and install it because my machine already has it installed. Go with all the prompts, just click next, next, next. You will see once you started installing this program, it's going to ask you whether you want to use it for streaming purposes or recording purposes. Just choose your option. I'm using it for recording purposes, obviously, today. So I just chose recording. All right, guys. So once you've got OBS open, what you're going to want to go and do is look at the bottom left section of the screen. There's going to be a little block here that says scenes. And you're going to have to go and create at least two scenes. Now, I've already gone and created two scenes here, which is how I'm able to go and transition on the Moogle. So the first scene, you can actually call them whatever you want. The first one is my webcam, which shows you my live webcam, as you can clearly see there. The second one is actually just the loop. It's just a video playing in a loop. And if I click between them, you can see the transitioning taking place, which is how I actually achieved this. Now, how did I make these scenes? So all you're going to have to go and do is just click on the plus sign here. Once you click on the little plus sign, you can call it whatever you want. I can go and call this live webcam if I really want to okay and once you clicked on the little scene so now I've got a scene going there for me so I've got a live webcam there I'm gonna go to the little plus sign here because I need to give this scene a source if you go look at my current scenes that's my live webcam the source is my actual webcam obviously the recording can't be my live webcam because it's gonna show them the live stream so the recording is an actual recording as you can see it says media source so for the live webcam one, I'm going to have to go here to the little plus sign. You're going to go to video capture device. Make sure you click on the little block here that says, or the little radio button that says create new. You click on OK, and Bob's your uncle. That's effectively all you're going to do. So I'm just going to cancel that because I already have that going for me. I'm going to delete that one, or I can actually keep it there for now. Recording loop. So what you're going to have to go and do for recording loop is, on the right-hand side, this is not the only way you're going to do it. There's a button that says start recording. So when you've got your camera open, like mine in my case, there, I've got my camera open right now. So what I can go and do is, you need to preferably step out of the frame for a few moments, 5, 10 seconds or so. Click on the start recording button. So you're going to have to kind of try and stay out of the frame as best as you possibly can. Click on the recording button for about 5 to 10 seconds. And you'll see it's going to be exactly the same button you're going to have to go click on to stop the recording. Click on the stop recording button, then you can move back to your seat. And that's basically going to give you the loop. So that's that's what mine looks like. So that's a recording I did for about 5 or 10 seconds. I stepped out of the frame for about 5, 10 seconds, recorded that. And when you go to your recording, I'm going to go make a second scene here. Just, let's, let's just call this recording. When you want to go and add that video, you simply just go here to plus. And instead of clicking on video capture device, you simply just go here to media source. Create new like earlier. Okay. You browse to where that video is going to be stored. By default, I've seen OBS stores it in your videos folder. Just go check out your videos folder. It's not in any specific folder in your videos folder. It's just lying randomly loose there in your videos folder. Uh, you also want to go click here where it says loop. Uh, so if you stay out of the frame successfully for the whole 5 or 10 seconds, they won't be able to see the transitioning between the loops. So just make sure you click on loop there as well. Click on OK. I'm not going to do that since I already have it going for me. I'm just going to go and delete these two here. There you go. So there's my live camera. There's my loop. Now what you also want to go and do here is on the right hand side below the start recording button, there's a button that says start virtual camera. Make sure you turn that sucker on. Once you've turned that on, you're going to have to go to your browser of choice. I've seen this trick works on both Chrome and Firefox. It's not the same for Chrome and Firefox. So if you're going to go to Chrome, you're going to want to go here to the top right hand side to the ellipse sign. Go to settings, run a search for camera, go to the section here that says site settings, 
scroll down to where it says camera make sure it says ask before accessing because there's a chance it might say block and this drop down list here that's my real camera so if i just choose that one the tool is not going to work make sure you choose obs virtual camera now it's worth mentioning it if you do not see obs virtual camera here it could be for more than one reason the first reason is it could be because you forgot to actually go click on start virtual camera in obs that could be the first reason the second reason i've seen is if you already had the chrome browser open before you clicked on start virtual browser i've noticed it does not pop up here so if that's the case you don't have to go and click on stop virtual camera just close the chrome browser completely close all your tabs reopen the browser and presto it should appear as soon as you click on obs virtual camera there you can go open a new tab you can go to moogle and it's going to work so while you are on a moogle you simply just go and click between these two things. It works easy if you've got two computer screens because then you can have a Moogle open on the first screen and on the second screen, you can actually have OBS open. So it's gonna be a lot easier. If you've got one screen like I do have today, today I've only got one screen in front of me. I'm not in front of my main computer. Then you're gonna to have to switch between browsers. So for that split second, you're not gonna be able to see the, the reaction. Also here on the right hand side, you get to choose whether it just cuts or fades, make sure it's on fade. And you also get to choose the time. I found that 600, to about a thousand milliseconds is the sweet spot. I think the default is about 300 milliseconds. You'll notice on the Firefox side, this tends to happen automatically. Um, in some cases, yeah, you might have to go to the settings, but in most cases on Firefox, it just seems to kind of automatically pick it up in my case. So you'll notice as soon as I click here on video, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna use your real camera, which is not gonna allow you to go and pull a stunt, or do you wanna use the virtual camera? Now, allow. And now it's just a matter of going to Moogle choosing the loop I can see it's switched to a different seat go back to camera oh wow different. oh wow it's a fun trick yeah. I'm using OBS today okay good all right guys so that was a short and sweet video on how to make yourself disappear on a Moogle using OBS that is not the only way to go and do it I will be uploading other videos on how to go and do this via other software if you found this informative, please give the video a like. If I'm lucky, maybe I've earned your subscription. Please stay tuned for more videos like this. See you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.